Well, let me start by saying I'm having a great day. It's carrying over from last night. I went to the grocery store. Hell yeah. Bank error in my favor. <laughs> Somebody was pricing the duck and typed in a wrong button. And normally a little $15 thing of duck was a dollar forty five instead of, you know, fifteen forty five. And I got a hundred dollars worth of duck for about seven bucks. Oh I God. get to the I get to the cash register and I go, all right, the bottom of this duck, it's small. And if you don't buy duck, you wouldn't even know how much it is. It's just weird. Uh, but but I put one on the conveyor belt, just one to see what price comes up and it comes up dollar thirteen. And then the kid's like, well, I don't know what the fuck duck is, but a little thing of meat can't be a dollar 13. Right. So he's kind of looking. He's like, ah, fuck it. OK, as I'm putting up other items, then I see he let that go through. Here's seven ducks. <laughs> so you had like a you had like a canary in the coal mine situation yes. where you guys you sent a small amount of duck forward to sort yes. of test like duck speculative duck futures. And you're like, all right, I'm investing big. Worst case would have been. Oh, no. So he calls the boss over. I played on the. Biggest dummy ever. I and uh, and he goes, sorry, this is 17, 13. Are you are you good with that? And I'll go, oh, there's a misunderstanding. Actually, I'd probably take one because I would have got it anyway. But then there's a misunderstanding. Can you put these six back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I just really went. And I noticed, though, that the filet mignon section was missing. And that usually doesn't happen at this store. You think and there was I wonder a run? If, I wonder if that was done wrong and people know what filet mignon is. And so somebody scooped up all those. Oh, somebody got fired today. I think it's best this way. I think you would fire somebody. I was a waiter for 15 years, I think, uh, or in the industry one way or another, you know, cleaning up uh, your kids Cheerios. But if you went to the boss, the owner went, hey, I think there's a problem with your duck or what. That's when someone gets in trouble. If I, you know, that's mm -hmm. when they go, oh, and the filet mignon is also gone. No, instead, whatever registered in the guy's beeper is what registers at the end of the day. And no one gets in trouble. I give you free cake at a at a restaurant. You don't tell my boss. Thank you. Right. You shut the fuck up and you tip me. You're basically a working class hero by buying eight <laughs> ducks. Thank you. <laughs> so now I have to have a duck party. I'm going to tell you this. Keith has a pretty good life. I have not seen him smile like this in months. Yeah, like he does whatever <laughs> he wants, whenever he wants to go to the, he, he lives like a 12 year old boy, you know, Thank like you. video games in the middle of the night with my friends. I got all the toys on my I got everything. In my backyard is full of all my favorite things. List of but trusted to, adults on your shirt. Uh -huh. all, I know all of all of the adults are doing everything they need. But, but today I got extra duck and I won. It's also like you're totally right, too, because I'm sure that what it actually looks like is, you know, thick, clear plastic with a bunch of bloody parts mushed together. But I'm imagining like seven cartoon ducks that like, you know, like a child's wallpaper that Keith is like, oh, I got seven of them. You know, I'm going to show you a picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keith has left the chair. He's gone into the duck vault. <laughs> This is, he left the show so he can show us some dead animals that he's going to eat later. This we is... just see mist wafting over from the walk-in freezer. <laughs> he keeps, right he's this got a rack of filet mignon, to too. Yeah. Okay, so that looks like, wow, solid piece of meat, right? Like a palm full. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'd, be paying, you'd be paying like 50 bucks for that in a restaurant, right? At least. In a restaurant, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this so would be your, for two, even though it looks so small. What's your plan? Are you freezing some of these? Or are you just going to really gorge yourself? this? I week? don't know. I don't know. All right. Got to go back in the fridge. Can't ruin it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Until was... we ask another question and then he's going to leave and come. Right. Back. But you know, what's funny is I, I don't know if he knows, but the ounces are on there. And during his show prep where he was so excited to tell us about it, he's talking to us like he went to the circus. Right. This is so exciting. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a duck party. You know, the universe gives you something. You want your karma? Fine. All right. You have a party then. And may everybody gets duck at my house. That's very magnanimous of you. Yeah. I appreciate that. I could have like 12 people. We all get duck. Have you ever yeah. cooked duck? You, well, I have yeah, actually. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, you do the diagonal on the bottom for some reason and diagonal again. That helps the fat get into the meat. I've done it and it's pretty easy because you could also do like 
perfect a specific duck meal by making it eight times in a row or 12 times in a row. How many, right. however many you purchase? <laughs> oh, you're like the last good. one, that's the perfect. Nat well, is telling us which brain disease he has. I see where you're going. <laughs> well, today I bought duck sauce, which is very good and uh, <laughs> kind of expensive. <laughs> I'm going to just really spat take on spat took on that one. I'm not sure the past tense. Spot, spot talk. I, because I don't, what is duck sauce? Sugar in, in. It's like a, know, gla- it's a glaze that really form. goes so good with it. I don't think you I've don't encountered have... it outside of like Chinese food, orangey exactly. packets. Yeah. It goes good with duck. You bought that? Yeah. Well, I have, I and have fucking knock 18. On went to my kitchen drawer. Yeah. Yeah. Knock on any New Yorker's door and they have 20 packets of duck sauce. Oh, sorry. I use that drawer for my closet. <laughs> you can come to my house. It's in there with twist ties, reusable <laughs> yeah. plastic utensils. Uh, don't you have leftover duck opener. sauce? I'm like, <laughs> if I have duck, I think I want a nice sauce. <laughs> That's true. You can probably upgrade from whatever comes in the yeah. non-refrigeration required packets. Right. Thank you. Uh, they just sort of throw at us like it's worth nothing. Like yeah. maybe that's not good point. That might not be the top tier. Bad beef is saying, congratulations, Keith. You deserve it. I do deserve it. Thank Look, you. We're talking to him like he's 12 now. <laughs> I deserve you it. You did so good. I deserve it. We did uh that email's book is almost ready. We just did stand up. I think I've I think I've earned 80 pounds of duck. Keith and the girl.com.